we go, ultrafiltration, and we'll start by thinking about what's inside the blood. Plasma is a liquid and has stuff dissolved in it. Buffy layer is white blood cells and platelets, and the red blood cells are those lovely cells that carry oxygen around your body. So in the plasma, you've got urea, water, sodium, glucose, and amino acids. I've color-coded them all because I want that to be memorable. So the blood flows in to the glomerulus, which is a capillary network. So let's fill it with some plasma and then put some contents in there. First, we've got the insoluble, or the things that are not dissolved. So white blood cells, red blood cells, platelets. And now we add the water, which everything's dissolved in. Then the sodium, the glucose, the amino acids, and the urea. The Bowman's capsule has small holes in it to accept the solutes. But in the glomerulus, it has special holes or slits called fenestrations and that allows the urea through, the water, the sodium, the glucose and the amino acids, everything dissolved in the water. This is the most amazing filtration system and it's separating urea from the contents of the blood. The key to understanding ultrafiltration is to know that it's all about nitrogen excretion, getting the urea out of the blood. In order to achieve that ultrafiltration, the glomerulus is under high pressure. And to get that high pressure, the capillary going into the glomerulus, called the afferent, is bigger than the one coming out, the efferent. And it's much like if you took a hose pipe and you squeezed it, there would be pressure built up behind where you're squeezing it. And if you put tiny holes in there, the water would squirt out. Because the glomerulus is under high pressure, it needs a support system. And these little feet called podocytes support the holes or the fenestrations and stop the glomerulus from falling apart under high pressure. Let's pause and do a summary. When you're explaining ultrafiltration, you need to say what, say why, say how. So the first thing is the what, we always start with the definition. Ultrafiltration is the separation of the smallest molecules from the blood. Next, so why? Well, because the kidney is all about excreting the nitrogen waste in the form of urea. Say how? The slits in the glomerulus allow the larger particles to remain in the blood and be separated from the small particles. So large particles like red blood cells and proteins from the glucose, urea and amino acids. This is all under high pressure and this is due to the afferent capillary going in being larger than the efferent capillary coming out. This builds up high pressure within the glomerulus. And finally, podocytes protect the glomerulus capillary membrane and prevent the larger proteins from getting through. Okay, so all of that good stuff has to be reabsorbed into the blood capillary and that's done through active transport. Some detail about selective reabsorption now. In the proximal convoluted tubule, you have cells with microvilli. And whenever you get a wiggly surface, it's all about increasing surface area. And that's because their role is to selectively reabsorb the glucose and the amino acids. So the high surface area created by the microvilli allows for more glucose and amino acids to be reabsorbed by active transport. So what do we have left then after this selective reabsorption? Well, in the blood, which has water in it already, we have now reabsorbed glucose and amino acids. And in the nephron, we've still got water, salts and urea. And that's a story for the loop of Henle and osmoregulation. That was a complex one. Did we nail it for you? Let us know what else we can do. Get in touch at learnatcadeasy.com and wait for the keywords at the end.